your dryer making a loud thumping sound or possibly a loud squealing noise, you may have a bad drum roller. Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to change your dryer's drum roller. Now before we begin this repair, since we will be working inside of the dryer, it's important that we disconnect the power. So either pull the dryer far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. If your dryer is a gas model, you'll also need to turn off the gas supply. Although this may not be the same model of dryer as yours, the procedure for changing this part is very similar for most brands of dryers. Now to access this component, we typically need to remove the drum completely from the dryer. To do so, the front has to come off, the top, and possibly the console. If your dryer has a rear control panel on it, you may be able to just lift up the top. For models that use a front control, typically you need to remove a couple of screws at the back. Now with the retaining screws removed, typically we'll just pull that top back a little bit. We can lift it off and set it aside. Now with the top removed, we'll then see where the screws are located to remove the console on the front control models. Now with the retaining screws removed, we're ready to tilt that console forward. Some models may have some plastic clips along the back edge of that console that you'll need to lift up on, but typically we're just going to tilt that forward far enough that we can access the wire harness connections so that we can disconnect those next. Now with the harnesses disconnected, we can lift that control panel away from the dryer and then we're just going to set that aside. Now our next step will be to remove that front panel and door assembly. On this model, there are some screws across the top and a couple of spring clips that hold that front panel to the cabinet. But also you may find that there are some screws hidden behind the door that attach the front panel to the bulkhead. And typically you'll find them down in the area of the lint filter, so we'll need to remove those as well. Well, next we'll remove these screws across the top. Now with the retaining screws removed, we next need to pull that front panel forward. We may need to lift up a little bit on the top to clear those two spring clips. And typically there is a wire harness connector to the door switch assembly that we'll need to disconnect as well. Now typically we can just tilt that panel down a bit and lift it away from the cabinet at the bottom. And then we'll set that aside. Now in this model, to remove the bulkhead, we'll need to first of all remove the support piece across the top because the bulkhead tucks up in underneath of it. So typically there will be some screws along the side that attach it to the cabinet, so we'll need to remove those next. Now this support bracket has a couple of tabs that line up with slotted openings in that cabinet. So we'll need to just manipulate that a bit to remove it. And then we'll set that aside. Now as well, we have a wire harness going to the door switch and to the light socket, as well as the control board. So we'll need to remove that from these restraints and tuck that out of the way. Now next, we'll need to determine what else needs to be removed before we can take that bulkhead off. If the outlet duct is attached to the blower housing, you may need to remove the lint filter. If it's attached to the bulkhead, just remove any screws that secure it to that blower housing. As well, for most dryers that have a sensor dry, you'll typically find a wire harness in this area that needs to be disconnected. And as well, there are typically four points that will attach that bulkhead to the cabinet itself. So next we're going to separate that harness connector to the sensor. Simply depress the locking tab and pull the two halves of that connector apart. Now this particular model, the outlet duct assembly is more firmly attached to the bulkhead with only a single screw securing it to the blower housing. So we're going to take out that single screw 
and then we'll move on to the four screws for the tabs that secure it to the cabinet. And now we're ready to lift that bulkhead away from the drum and the cabinet. Now to remove the bulkhead on this particular model, we note that there are some keyhole slots for those tabs, so we'll need to lift up slightly on that bulkhead, keeping in mind that we're lifting up the drum as well as going against the tension of the belt as well. We'll probably need to lift up on that drum to release any weight on the bulkhead, and then we can separate it. Now with the bulkhead removed, if we're replacing one of the front drum rollers, we simply need to set this on a suitable work surface where we can remove the old one and install a new one. Now with our bulkhead sitting on a suitable work surface, we'll next need to remove the retaining clip for the drum roller. Depending on your model, it might be a C-clip, an E-ring, or one of these plastic triangles. We'll remove the old drum roller and first we'll inspect that shaft, make sure that there's no damage to it or if there's any corrosion, we'll want to clean that up. And then we'll put a few drops of machine oil on that and then install the new drum roller. Now before we can remove the drum, we need to first of all release the tension of the belt on that drum. Now the belt wraps around an idler which has a spring pulling some tension on it and it also wraps around the motor pulley. To release that tension, we're going to reach in on both sides of the drum from the bottom, locate that idler pulley, we'll pull it towards the center of the dryer, then we can roll the belt off of the motor pulley, release it, and pull the whole drum completely out through the front. And then we'll just set that aside. Now with the drum out of the way, we'll next need to determine which of the rear drum rollers is causing the problem. They should turn freely, if not, We'll need to replace that. So we'll need to pop off this little triangular clip using a small flat blade screwdriver. We'll just stretch it enough to lift it away. And remove the old drum roller. So next we'll check that drum roller shaft and look for any signs of excessive wear or corrosion. If there is any, you'll need to replace that shaft as well. And before we put the new drum roller in place, we'll want to add a few drops of machine oil to that drum roller just to make sure that it'll run smoothly. And now we can put the drum and belt back in. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that you now have the confidence to change the drum rollers on your dryer. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And hey, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.